Understanding Do Unto Others, a guide for English learners. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English learning series. Today, we're diving into a fascinating and important phrase, do unto others. This expression is not just a language lesson, but a window into cultural and ethical values. Let's explore its meaning, origins, and how to use it in everyday conversation. The phrase, do unto others, is a shortened version of the longer ethical principle, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. This is known as the golden rule. It's a guideline for behavior suggesting that one should treat others as one would like others to treat oneself. This concept is not just in English. It's found in many cultures and religions worldwide. Understanding the origins of phrases can be as important as their meanings. The golden rule or the principle of do unto others has roots in several religious and philosophical traditions. It's prominently featured in Christianity, Islam, Buddhism, Hinduism, and other major religions, as well as in secular philosophies. It's a universal principle that crosses cultural boundaries. Now, let's see how to use this phrase in everyday conversation. You might use, do unto others, when giving advice or discussing moral and ethical topics. For example, when you're in doubt about how to act, just remember to do unto others as you would want them to do unto you. Her philosophy in life is simple. Do unto others as you'd have them do unto you. How can we apply this in real life? The phrase reminds us to be empathetic and considerate. In a world where everyone followed this rule, there would likely be more understanding, kindness, and cooperation. It's a powerful tool for building relationships, whether in personal life or in the workplace. I hope this exploration of do unto others has been insightful and useful in your journey of learning English. Remember, language learning is not just about words and grammar, it's about understanding the values and ideas behind the phrases we use. Keep practicing, stay curious, and until next time, take care and do unto others as you would have them do unto you.